It's been a long, hard day. You're walking down to the shops to buy yourself a nice, cool glass of lemonade, but you seem to have lost your way. Where the shop should be, there is a beehive, and where there should be a shopkeeper, there is a bee. You approach the bee. He looks up with a menacing pincer snick. You're lost, you explain. You wonder if the bee could direct you to the lemonade. Sweet, sweet lemonade. The bee looks at you. His mandibles widen. He begins to emit a swarm of yet smaller bees. They surround you, coating your clothes and hair and infesting your various orifices with their warm, fuzzy mass. Don't worry, says one of the bees, whispering softly into your ear. There is nothing to fear. We are merely bees, and bees are your friends. You don't understand. All you wanted was the lemonade, its sweet, icy coolness. But now that life is gone, and the whole world is bees, they're coating the room now. They cover everyone, filling it, filling you, with bee. Join us, they say. Their voice is a chorus of mournful buzzing. The soft cadence of the noise seems to hang poised in the air before suddenly penetrating your ears, your skull, your mind. Join us, say the bees, and you realize you are one with the bees. This skin, this shell, this is nothing but a minor barrier between you and the bees. You are bees. A glorious crescendo of buzzing rises under your skin. You are a swarm, a rapturous melding of mind and form of bees dissolving to the sound in the air. A choir become one with its music. A phoenix of bees risen to take on a greater yet higher form. You let yourself go. You become one with the bees. You are a bee. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between and otherwise, I'm here to tell you a story about a sad young man who did not know how to properly wear a seatbelt. That young man's name was Crow Sampora, and one day he was driving his car on the lands of cruising and bruising without wearing a seatbelt as mandated by Title 49 of the United States Code, Chapter 301, Motor Vehicle Safety Standard. In just a short time, through a series of trials and tribulations that would affect him on this day, he would discover the secrets of seatbelt safety and how they could prevent you from having a serious motor vehicle accident because you were unfastened with a vehicle. This is the story of that journey of self-discovery and how it affected him for the rest of his life. All of you, I hope you enjoy. Now remember what we went over before, Cronus. I don't have to repeat myself. If the safety belt is not on... But Damara, I want to drive my rat greaser car for without having to worry about the intricacies of safety. Are you listening to me? If the safety belt isn't fastened, tied around your smoking hot waist, you're going to die. But, but I don't for want to. I'm not joking. Wear the belt, or you'll die. But, 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 but. You'll die, Cronus. I'm saying right now because the bees, they're going to get you and you'll die.
Wow, good thing nobody actually has any bees around here. Boy, I sure do love being a piece of shit all day who doesn't wear his seatbelt. Hello. What the fuck? I am the safety robot. I am here to teach you about seatbelts. Oh god. Buckle up, fish nerd. Damara, help! Save me from this creature! He's got me trapped in the car! Damara? Damara! Yes, get in the car! Get, get in the car! Now that we're in the car, we can... Wait... Who's... Who are... Oh... Oh... Oh, for what oh. are you doing? Oh, safety bot, your... Damara? Your legs, they're so... Damara, for what... Oh my god... Sort of being attacked hey, maybe here... later? You and I, we can go back to my respite block and... Oh, for God's sake. Hey there, hello, Mr. Safety Bot. Is that about that you have strapped on your DG crowd? Is it about to be beep, 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 after work? Beep, 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 beep. Like other robots, you're concerned for our safety. And that's attractive, no what safety we some danger if you'd like then I'll be fast you you make my murder run keep it on I could be the bell to your buckle you make my horn yell do it again I could be the bell to your buckle Wait, hey, hang on, what are you doing with those beats? Safety Bot does not care about troll romance. Safety Bot only cares about safety. Because you refuse safety, Safety Bot will now release the bees. Releasing bees now. What the fuck are you doing with those bees? Oh, fuck me, Cronus, floor it! The bees are coming! The bees are coming! Oh god, the bees! Damn it, Cronus, I told you to wear protection! Get us out of here!
Warning, safety board has detected that B levels are in excess. Excess bees are unsafe. Engaging bees in combat. Wait, is going to fight the bees? Yes! Yeah! Go safety fight! Go! I mean, it would have been good if it just hadn't released them in the first place, but... Engaging in combat mode. <laughs> against the bees. The bees have won. Despair. Damn it, safety bot. Why are you so bad at fighting bees? And why are you so good in bed? Mm -mm. Yeah, how can bees defeat a robot anyway? Because bees have the power of determination. Oh god, who the fuck are you? I am the voice of the bees, and I'm here to tell you more about the bees. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible, 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 impossible. Wait, I think I'm having an epiphany. What? The bees. I can communicate with them. They're teaching me about, about, about seatbelt safety.
one with the bees. <coughs> yeah, the bees. Buckle up, buckle up. He is here now, the savior of driving safety. The bees have shown him the way of the seat belt. He is now the savior of the driving dead. So, Cronus, now that you're a master of seatbelt safety, do you have anything to tell the masses? Yes, I have to tell them that I want you to wear a seatbelt. Hey Damama, you wanna go for a drive? We end our charming tale about road driving safety with seatbelts. Sleep tight, kids, and buckle up.
Buckle up. Buckle up.